Let's go over the card a little Let's bit. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I saw somebody. Um, Who? John Anik tweeted something about how the guy, uh, it was a bad take. Someone in uh, the Detroit Free Press or whatever, some Detroit writer was saying that it wasn't a great night of fight. And I really? said, man, you just, how do you say that? Who said that? I don't know what his name was. I probably couldn't read the article. It was too annoying. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I thought there were some really good fights. What the fuck? Wait, was I, I was looking. Somebody said 218 wasn't a good yeah. night of fight. What are you they talking about? They need to about? do a better one. They bring it back. Let's start with the main event. Uh, yes. Max Holloway. How are we doing our picks, by the way? Yeah, well, I have all that information. So, yeah, do we want to just run those down quick, or, or you want to do it as we go through? How about well, as we go through it? Okay, well, I'll say, so, Jim, you won the night. You had nine out of a See, possible 15 points. You, See, we could have... You could have built up no, to that. No, and no, no, it away. Jimmy. He did fair and square. <laughs> no, Mr. don't you give that away at the end, though? Like, you tell who won what, and then you get the end, you give it. You, you what fucking... You... I know who I'm booing. All you right. know what? Chris set this whole game thing up, and then it's time to pull the trigger, and then fucking... But there's... But there's no <laughs> tension now. Who cares? Like, if we had, like, hey, Matt got this one, I got that one, then you'd be like, oh... All right, you're six five, uh, and then we go over each fight. Well, that people, probably would have worked better. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just give yeah, the score. Right. All right, well, next time we won. Jimmy right. nine out of fifteen. All right, right. so Jimmy won everybody. You got to, why even go through it? No, anyway. what, now which ones? Let's um, talk about. Yeah, let's, let's go. Yeah, just fight. go through it. Let's start the main event. Max Holloway against uh, Josie Aldo. Who picked who? Um, I got that one wrong. Yes, that's the only one you got wrong. You had Jose Aldo oh, yeah. by a decision. Right there, you gave that away. He too. gave that away too. Christopher, this is, you, this is your game. You really don't allow tension to build. <laughs> so now we know I got all the other ones right. Well, yeah. <laughs> this? You're, what are you, Herb Dean today with this fucking thing? I'm off, yeah. I'm having you're having an off fucking... Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, do you realize what just happened with this whole game? I, it's, it literally... It's his game! It's he the made... biggest anti-climax. <laughs> fucking... All right, Jimmy. Well, this is the only this is the only one you got wrong. What do you do oh. when you watch? What do you do when you watch The Godfather with someone? As soon as Abe Vigoda comes on, do you go? I can't even watch him knowing he betrays Michael at the end. <laughs> yes, I like to spoil the movie. What do you do when Sonny first comes on and go? Oh my God, you're gonna hate it when he gets shot in a little while. What about eventually you have kids? You show them Empire Strikes Back and go, oh, yeah, get this part. The, the, that's his father. That's his dad. They got. It's Luke's dad. All right. <sighs> Try to edit, Jimmy. All right. I totally right. think it's that fight strikes back. You did a good job. All right. But so, anyway. All right, so I got Jose Aldo raw. Well, let's that, talk about that, though. I, Aldo, I, again, not kicking. He did kick more. Kick more. Than the first fight, but nowhere near what he used to kick. He throws a few kicks here and there. Why is he not throwing kicks? Why? Because maybe Max didn't give a fuck about the kicks and stayed in his face. But you can't not you you cannot care about them until you have to care about them. Man. There's no way you're going to take that many Jose Aldo kicks. Max just has a good poker face. There's that, but there's also Max was shutting him down, and he was in his face, and he was in his face where, where, oh man, it's like a suffocating feeling where it was getting worse and worse as it was going on. Similar, very similar to the last fight, yep. and he's he doesn't mind being right there in in that fight. He must be doing. I mean, his awareness is something else, uh, and his combinations and his and his return fire. Oh my goodness, man, where. Jose would come at him with a three, ba ba ba, three missiles, three bombs. He's loading up miss. on every punch. And if he did land anything, Max is rolling with it and then immediately firing back yeah. and not letting him take his breath. And he tried to get him off again with a big. So every time he's doing this, that, 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 you just see it. You see that energy bar, like in a video game, getting lower and lower. And then it's going to be like, I'm like, dude, how is he going to. Eventually, he's going to crap out, and that's exactly what happened. In round three, he was literally holding on to Max at the end. That was a weird ending. Oh, I just, just didn't know why he wasn't kicking more. Deja I know Holloway Rogan. was crowding him, but there were still times I'm like, why is he not kicking? And even uh, Rogan was going, I would like to see him throwing some more of those kicks, and he just was not doing it, and yeah. I don't know why. It's like, you're not a boxer. You know, you're yeah. like, what are you doing? Well, I mean, he's got good hands, too. Great hands, but I mean, and you're not just going to stand up there. It's I, not a boxing match. I started thinking that, too, but then when I watched it the second time, he started, he was trying to land the kicks. He did a few, and Max Max did to his credit. He was he, he wasn't there for him, man. He wasn't giving him the right angles to hit those kicks. He just wasn't. And then it, then his and again he was in his face, and it got worse as it went on. I predicted TKO in the and it was almost there. He almost made it out of that round. He was like under ten seconds left. Yeah. And I predicted fourth. TKO in the fourth, but he it was a TKO in the third. So I was very close, people. So I want to. Congratulate myself for that. Point. How much time was left in that fight? Uh, let me. I'm gonna say eight seconds. Now Herb stopped that one too, right? How many seconds? Uh, yeah, nine seconds. Herb Dean. Right. Um, I don't remember who was the the ref for that. I don't remember either. Actually. Yeah. 
So congratulations to Max Holloway, who was just tremendous in that oh, he looks, fight. He, yeah. dude, he looks amazing. He looks incredible. 25 years old. His head is on straight. You know what I mean? You don't hear... I mean, he's just... He's just a fun. I mean, he just a fun, fun fighter. He reminds me of like a Diaz brother to some degree, where he's with that high volume with the striking. Oh yeah, and he just as that fight goes on, he gets, he gets, and he didn't take that much damage. I mean, the shots he took, he rolled with, like you know. And oh man, I, I just I can't say enough about Max Holloway. I think he's saying it's the blessed era, and I I believe him. I think he's going to get problems. I would. I mean, I know it's not going to happen. I would love to see him and Connor fight again. Nah, it's the last fight he lost. I mean, that yeah. was and he was in there in that fight. It's not like he was got destroyed. I mean, Frankie Edgar's got to be next. That would be an amazing. That's going to that, be that's a great an amazing fight. fight. That would be amazing because Frankie's all man. Frankie Styles make fights, and Frankie had a hard time with Jose, but but he still went the distance. It was still a five round yeah, fight. But but style wise, I think Max is a is a definitely possesses different problems than Jose. But I believe that, I mean, we have to see. If Frankie, Frankie's so good at timing those takedowns. So he'd, he'd probably put Max in positions that we really haven't seen him in. Yeah, like, I mean, has he fought anyone who's, who's going to do to him on the ground with Frankie Edgar would do to someone on the I don't, there's, there's, there's not many people out there like Frankie Edgar, the whole package. But what excites me about that is you're talking about two guys with a great skill set and have both of them have the lungs to do hard five rounds right. so that's an exciting yeah. you know what i mean it's not like yo frankie's gonna bring uh like bj penn into deep waters and, and you know what i mean like, i would see that fight going the distance that's a fight because frankie hasn't put that many people away lately i i that's a fight i would see going the distance i don't know frankie wait what yeah, happened, I, what I, I mean? yeah rodriguez he beat up pretty good yeah he beat him up for the, they had to stop it i think because of the eye yeah, but, yeah man yeah. he not and he also took out clay uh, not clay, uh clay, i'm sorry um gray uh, manor yeah no i'm not saying not you gray manor and also uh uh, shit, man, Alpha Male. Uh, what's his name? Full Connor. Uh, uh, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Chad Mendes. Yes, Chad Mendes. Oh, yeah, Thank yes. you so much, buddy. Okay, okay, first cool. of all, we're going to talk about that. We're fight. talking about his fight with yeah. uh, you know Oliveira. That, that was incredible. Yeah, man, he did. He did great with that. Man. Stayed he, on the ground. He he was to, so bizarre. He had to get out of uh, some funk, man. And I'll tell you, man, I was worried when that when that guy had him in the, his uh, what happened in the Dars or an Anaconda. Uh, what, what is the difference? Because I, 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 I thought it was a dark. Under what the armpit is, arm the pit is yeah. uh, I think, Anaconda. <laughs> it's not my fucking favorite. You got to understand, I did jujitsu when there was no names. Right. But the Dars and the Anaconda, it's very similar, but I got short arms, so I don't really go for those. It looked like a Dars to yeah. me, but I, you know, I don't know exactly. But uh, he almost... And then he actually, Joe Rogan said the best thing. He's like, yo, that's the worst thing to do because he hooked he his was leg. turning the wrong way, and, wasn't he? Uh, no, it was a couple of... Uh, yes, yeah, so when he mounted him with that, it was a bad. It was uh, it was like man, I'm like I thought it was over. I really did. I mean, how he got out of that. I want to feel. I want to ask him how tight was that. You know, I gotta see. I gotta see what it was. I think it was a Dars, but it was fucking tight as shit. And that guy is so good. And he was. He had a few things that were very tight. And then and then once with Paul would get out, he'd go he'd get right into something else, man. But you know what's, you know what's, you know what's hard? To, what, what the problem with that is, it, it gets tiring going for those submissions. Like you know what I mean. So he was so relentless with them. It's almost almost like yeah, he's putting everything into trying to knock a guy out. You know what I mean. So yeah. he's like, do you want to commit to those those uh, subs, but you don't want to try to force it. You know what I'm saying, Jimmy? That's right. Yeah, that was incredible. When we get back uh, after Paul, we can talk about the uh, Ngannou Overeem fight in in real time. Talk about the entire fight in real time. Dude, he fucking punched him into orbit. I, I just, to see a guy that big be knocked unconscious I so was very, ferociously. I was impressed with how he just took away that takedown like nothing. Yeah. You know what Crush I mean? Him up against Kit, yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought Overeem would do more. I was surprised Overeem let his head go down like that. I'm not sure why he left his face open like that. It seemed like a very weird, unless he was afraid he was going to get clipped with a, with a hook. Man. Paul, I, what's up, buddy? Let me get him up. <clears throat> It's gonna be a party. You know what I did in Vegas? You know what I did in Vegas? What's well, gonna stay there. after after doing that little acting gig? It's a long days with that. What'd you do? You know what I did at nighttime at the Palms? What? I, went, really? I saw Justice League by myself. Did you like it? Am I a loser? No. 